Everybody until her very last breath is going to be battling for the values that make this nation great and the values that we care so deeply about. So now, please join me in welcoming Secretary Hillary Rodney. Bill says, can I still have an intern? Thank you. She says, I don't, I don't succeed yet. I still want a, a recount. Now sit down and shut up, people. Thank you. She's a baby killer. Thank Ambassador you. killer. Thank you so much. Thank you, my okay, friends. Baby, Thank you. Know. Thank you. Thank you so very much for being here. And I love you all. Last night, I congratulated Hello. Donald Trump and offered to work with him on behalf of our country. I hope that he will be a successful president for all Americans. This is not the Except illegal we ones. wanted or we Muslims. worked so hard for. And I'm sorry that we did not win this election for the values we share and the vision we hold for our country. But I feel... I feel pride and gratitude for this wonderful campaign that we built together. This vast, diverse, creative, unruly, energized campaign. You Lying, the deceitful. The best of America and being your candidate has been one of the greatest honors of my life. How disappointed you feel because no, we're happy. I feel it too. And so do tens of millions of Americans who invested their hopes and dreams in this effort. This is painful and it will be for a long time. Good. But I want you to remember this. Our campaign was never about one person or even one election. It was about the country we love and about building an America that's hopeful, inclusive, and big-hearted. We have seen that our nation is more deeply divided than we thought. Because of Obama. But I still believe in America, and I always will. And if you do, then we must accept this result and then look to the future. Donald Trump is going to be our president. Yeah. We owe him an open mind and the chance to lead. Our constitutional democracy enshrines the peaceful transfer of power. And we don't just respect that, we cherish it. It also Until Obama declares martial law and stops it from happening. Law, the principle that we are all equal in rights and dignity. Unless you're illegal or a American hating Muslim. We respect and cherish these values too. And we must defend them. Our constitutional democracy demands our participation, not just every four years, but all the time. So let's do all we can to keep advancing the causes and values we all hold dear. Making our economy work for everyone, not just those at the top. Protecting our country and protecting our planet. And breaking down all the barriers that hold any American back from achieving their dreams. We spent a year and a half bringing together millions of people from every corner of our country to say with one voice and overseas 
to vote. The American dream is big enough for everyone, for people of all races and religions, for men and women, Not Islam. for immigrants, for LGBT nope. people, and people with disabilities, for everyone. But taking care of your veterans before you do all the illegal Mexicans and American hating Muslim Islam. So now our responsibility as citizens is to keep doing our part to build that better, stronger, fairer America we seek. And I know you will. I am so grateful to stand with all of you. I want to thank Tim Kaine and Ann Holton for being our partners on this journey. It has been a joy getting to know them better, and it gives me great hope and comfort to know that Tim will remain on the front lines of our democracy representing Virginia in the Senate. Yes, Tim will. North Carolina. To Barack and Michelle Obama. Get the hell out of the White our House. Our country owes you an enormous <laughs> debt. Pack your bags, Obama and Michael. Don't owe them nothing. They're they're the problem. They're the reason people voted Trump. Thank you for your graceful, determined leadership. Whatever. That has meant so much to so many Americans and people across the world. Yeah, because they're giving them and billions Bill of dollars. And Chelsea, Mark, Charlotte, Aiden, our brothers and our entire family. My love for you means more than I can ever express. You crisscrossed this country on our behalf and lifted me up when I needed it most. Even four month old Aiden, who had traveled with his mom. I will always be grateful to the creative, talented, dedicated men and women at our headquarters in Brooklyn and across our country. All the Yankees. your hearts into this campaign. For some of you who are veterans, it was a campaign after you had done other campaigns. Some of you, it was your first campaign. I want each of you to know that you were the best campaign anybody could have ever the millions of volunteers, community leaders, activists, and union organizers who knocked on doors, talked to neighbors, posted on Facebook, even in secret private Facebook <laughs> sites. And illegal Mexicans who voted. I want everybody coming out from behind that and make sure your voices are heard going forward. who sent in contributions as small as five dollars and kept us going thank you thank you from all of us and to the young people in particular i hope you will hear this i have as tim said spent my entire adult life fighting for what i believe in i've had successes and i've had setbacks sometimes really painful ones Many of you are at the beginning of your professional, public, and political careers. You will have successes and setbacks, too. But Hillary will be this turning her soul sense. over to Satan very but soon, as she sold it two years ago. believing that fighting for what's right is worth it. And killing babies is not right.
wrap it up and get off stage, woman. It is. It is worth it. Us deplorable Americans have something to say now. We need, we need you to keep up these fights now and for the rest of your lives. And to all the women, and especially the young women, who put their faith in this campaign and in me, I want you to know that nothing has made me prouder than to be your champion. Wah. and hardest glass ceiling, but someday, someone will, and hopefully sooner than we might think right now. And, and to all the little girls who are watching this, never doubt that you are valuable and powerful, and deserving of every chance and opportunity in the world to pursue and achieve your own dreams. What about the little boys? Good thing the mamas didn't have you aborted because of Hillary supports it. Finally, I am so grateful for I, I, country me. and for all I. it has given to me. I count my blessings every single day that I am an American. And I'm not in jail. And I still believe, as deeply as I ever have, that if we stand together and work together, we can destroy America. Strength in our convictions as a and love for this nation, our best days are still ahead of us. With Republicans in control now, we have a fighting chance at least. Because, you know, you know, I believe we are stronger together and we will go forward together. And you should never, ever regret fighting for that. You know, scripture tells us, <laughs> let us not grow weary in doing good for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. A demon so quote in scripture. Let us have faith in How economy. ironic. Let us not grow weary. Let us not lose heart. And she says, praise Allah. There are more la, 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 la. Come, Boom. There is more work to do. I am incredibly honored and grateful to have had this chance to represent all of you in this consequential election. May God bless you and may God bless the United States of America. And God bless all my deplorable friends who voted. And God bless America, and goodbye, and good riddance, Hillary, Bill, Obama, and Michael. Get out of our White House.